Good morning everyone, it's Francis. It is October 13th, Thursday at 7.36 a.m. in Texas. Um, I went out again this morning, 20 new photos with Gross 004 using a red filter and I exposed them for 30 extra seconds. So uh, you, the last images we looked at were exposed for 30 seconds each, I believe. These are exposed for 60 seconds each. Two major stars in here. I don't know which two they are yet. Um, I've sent all these photos to approximately 100 different people. Out of those 100 people I sent these photos to, there are 20 of them that will look at them and produce videos and analyze the photos. But this is the first look. First look, and I'm going to go ahead and do a blink with all 20 photos. I've already put them up in the software. Here's a blank box, and let's just uh, start. We're going to see what we see. Ian Musgrave from Australia. And I guess I'm going to do them slower, and we'll just look at them. Zoom in. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nine, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. So we might be missing one. Um, sometimes that happens in the blank. One gets cut off at the end, uh, but tonight's view, th this morning's viewing was good. You'll see that there's no clouds or anything. The skies appear to be clear. Um, again, I, I used a red filter. It shows up here grayscale. For somebody who's a, a, a whiz at these images, he, they're, they're going to be great images. I am not a whiz with these images. This is what I get. I'm, I'm happy to get this. Uh, I really am. Pull out so you can see that other star. I don't know if one of them are regulars. I don't know what it is. I don't know if there's Leo. I don't know what it is. I know it's around Leo. I, I, I don't know physically because I haven't gone out and know exactly where it is in the sky in relation to sky because I've been just working really hard and taking these pictures. You do see th things show up, artifacts, you know, just like as if you were looking from the uh, uh, Soho satellite, you see artifacts in the images, you will see artifacts in my images. Um, I can zoom in a little bit into center. And now the comet should be right in the center of the screen. See, I, yeah, I'm, I, I can't even say anymore. The first image, I mean, that's... Let's see what's back here. And then is that star fader? I don't know. People are going to look at these images better than I am. I can't show you this movie in reverse scale I bet you, I mean because I don't know how to get it to you in reverse scale All I want you to know is there's new more new pictures more new pictures for people to look at because somebody's got to take the pictures and I guess I don't mind taking them It's pretty cool to take and run these little movies though the 20 images cuz we should be seeing some Still, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm not even, we're just going to take pictures and look together. I'm not saying I see anything, this is just our first look.
see right on that first image where well it's kind of over here I'm going to try to put it right here no it's actually over here it's almost right near the dead center watch when the first picture comes I don't know I'm just observing I see you know well, I don't see I have, and then that, see that star doesn't get distorted in any way right so it's right up here You know, apparently we're watching a cloud, so we're going to keep watching the cloud. See? Let me jot that down, right? Ian Musgrave said this artifact, so keep taking pictures, keep looking. The more records we have, there's, this is, this is, because I'm not messing with these. If I make a bad assessment, then that's just bad assessment. That's that's Francis. The pictures are going to be the pictures imperfections or, or no imperfections. What's important to know is that we have to I guess keep taking pictures. I don't know. I said yesterday I just need to stop taking pictures. So uh, If anyone's seen these votes we should, we should get a vote. Should I stop taking pictures or should I keep taking pictures? I guess that's the question uh, for the subscribers. Uh, or do I move to Comet Levy? I have to get there sooner or later. Uh, so much time and energy has gone in on this comet now, so... I'm probably still doing it wrong, so... I don't know. It's frustrating. I'm frustrated too, my friends. I'm frustrated too. Okay, so there'll be more more uh, videos of this these images put up online because I've sent them out. So we'll get more reports. Nothing obvious. Nothing obvious in that space. And now it's interesting, and you might want to pay attention to where we are when we discover where we are with those two stars because... Um, we may be passing back over across like C.W. Uh, Leonis, Leonis. We're, we're crossing back over some interesting parts of the sky that everybody wants to see, uh, wanted to see, see if there's anything there. So we'll keep looking. I'll talk to you later. Have a good day. I got a bit. I have a busy day, so this will be probably the only video for me, unless I do something at the observatory tonight, which I think I do. So maybe something later. Have a great day, everyone. It's Francis. New images, 20 new images exposed for 30 extra seconds, 20 images at 60 second exposures each from the Gras 004, located in May Hill, New Mexico, taken this morning early, probably about 4.30 New Mexico time, somewhere between 4.30 and 5 a.m. New Mexico time. Bye.